blade and quill. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, we've come a long way since the first video of the series. Uh, before we go further, I would like to show you how you can create abstract paintings using the tools and techniques I showed you up until now. Let's get started. First, we are going to create a new layer. Then we are going to go right here and we are going to select the polygonal selection tool. Here in the uh, tool options, we are going to make sure that the action add right here is selected. So now we are going to create random shapes all over the canvas. Now again, to use this tool, you just click with your mouse every time you get an angle and then you make sure to go back to the beginning to uh, connect your shape. Now, if you want, we can make a circle using the elliptical selection tool. And then we'll make some rectangles. Now that we have all the shapes, we are going to leave the selection active and we are going to use a brush. So go to your freehand brush right here, click on it, or you can also use the shortcut B on your keyboard. So that will be the letter B on your keyboard. And now we are going to select what we want. So we go here to select the brush. And uh, you see, we have a basic one already selected. Uh, I think we're gonna keep it, it's, uh, it's just fine. The only thing now that we need to do is select a color. And uh, remember, because you have selections, uh, areas you can paint within the areas without going outside of it as you can see so it's very easy so I'm going to paint each shape with a different color and I'll see you very soon okay All right, so now that we are done, I am going to undo or deactivate the selections by doing the Control Shift plus A. I am going to duplicate my layer by doing Control J and I'm going to uh, do uh, Control U to change the color. And here I can change my hues right here and make maybe the saturation just a little bigger and maybe a little darker right here, all right? And I am going to decrease the opacity of my layer and I am going to do an overlay on my, uh, um, uh, on my layer of, uh, filter. So this is, if I turn off, as you can see, we change just a little the color. All right, so now we are going to sell, uh, create a new layer on the very top and we are going to create some elliptical shapes all around uh, the, uh, the shapes that we have created. All right. The same thing here, I made sure that the uh, plus was still, you know, active to make sure that I can create as many selections as I want throughout my canvas. Just, you know, create random shapes.
Now I am going to select one color, for instance, almost white. And I am going to do my trick, shift plus backspace to fill uh, my uh, selections. Now again, control shift plus A to undo the selection. And here we are going to change the filter to overlay. And we are going to decrease the opacity right here. Almost transparent. Let's create a new layer and then go to now the outline selection tool and we are going to draw a random uh, uh, forms again inside all around. Just go crazy. Remember this is abstract so you just create whatever comes to your mind. we are going to select now a dark color right here and we are going to do the shift backspace to fill and then we are going to decrease the opacity right here and then control shift a to undo the selection now we're going to create a new layer and this time with still the outline selection tool uh, active, we are going to draw a giant end, hand, sorry, <laughs> my bad English. And it's abstract. So if you want to make only four fingers, just make four fingers. All right. And now we are going to fill it maybe with uh, this kind of a gray blue color shift plus backspace and we are going to do uh, let's see we are going to do a screen here you go and decrease the opacity right here control shift a to undo now let's go down to the background and create a layer just above the background and using the rectangular uh, right here the rectangular selection tool we are going to create a, a background and i want it to be very very dark uh, shift backspace Control shift a to undo and here we have this so if you don't like the color of your hand so what you can do again Control u and then you can change the color let's mix it this way i like that this is much better all right now we are going to create a new layer above the hand and we are going to create like a head shape so let's use again the uh, outline selection tool and we are going to draw a head right here very 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 uh, um, very very um, abstract again and in order to, for me to do the eyes inside i have to hold the alt, the alt key and as you can see now there is a minus side a sign and it means that this is going to and uh, take off from my selection all right and now i'm going to fill this with uh, a very very blue color shift backspace and now we are going to decrease the opacity and maybe we are going to do a multiply and now control shift plus a it's maybe a little too transparent let's make it a little like this and you know what it's not dark enough so control u and i'm gonna make it darker with a right here 
all right okay and uh, that's it you have created an abstract painting and you can keep going so add another layer and if you want to create maybe i don't know a flower or some sort so just draw and then just you know make the petals like this and then you shift backspace with the color that you want if you don't like this color use the yellow here shift backspace and then Control shift plus a to undo if you want to make it less opaque and more transparent you just decrease your opacity you can also change the filter again let's see if we do overlay if we do overlay it disappears so we don't want to do that so we're going to go back to a normal that is right here all right and then you just keep adding and adding now you could also add some shapes so if you go to the shape right here you can have the foreground color that will fill automatically so here the foreground is yellow and the background is white and remember if you click the x key you can go back and forth between the foreground and the background if i want to change my background color i click on the background and i change it maybe to a red and i say okay now i have a yellow foreground and a red background so if i make a shape it will fill it automatically with a foreground color that is yellow and the outline here you can have no outline or an outline and here i decided that the brush background color will be my outline so if i made a shape right here as you can see because the opacity is at 44 percent and I'm, I'm on the same layer as i did for my flower it created it uh, this way but let's do a ctrl z let's make a new layer with the full opacity and we're gonna make the shape maybe right here and here it is you have your shape with uh, the background a red and the foreground a yellow and then if you want to make another shape and change here you go and then you can for instance make it uh, multiply maybe here and then decrease your opacity and then maybe move it so use your move tool right here and now just move them wherever you want maybe you want to move them right here the same thing here if you want to move the head just click on the uh, layer to make it active and now move the head because you are still with the uh, moving tool uh, you know active so you could maybe move the head right here now if you wanted to make the head bigger you go to the transform tool and uh, you will hold the shift key and go right here in the corners and you will make the head bigger so we could make the head way bigger right here and then let's say that we want to make another uh, circle somewhere we would go all the way up create a new layer and maybe make a circle right here and we could fill it with an orange color so shift backspace Control shift a to undo make it less and here we are as you can see it's a mess <laughs> it's really a mess and uh, but this is how basically you create uh, your uh, abstract painting you keep going with shapes over shapes over shapes and if you don't want something you just turn it off now you see i don't like the head so i'm going to take it off and i'm going to keep this and if i don't like my flower i can also take off the flower turn off the flower and uh, maybe uh, this one here this uh, one of the square i don't want so i go on the layer to make it active i click on it now i'm going to select with my uh, rectangular selection tool the rectangle that i don't want now remember that you if you hover on your selection you can move the selection so you hover to make sure you got it right at the edge and then you click delete on your screen and on your keyboard sorry and that's it you have deleted the extra square so this is the ugliest thing i've ever created <laughs> 
the point here is that I wanted to show you that you can create so many things just by using the selection tools or also the shape tools right here and a brush and creating as many layers as you want. All right, I'll see you next week. We'll create something much, much better than that. I promise you. And uh, I hope you have a great and wonderful week. So I'll see you next time. Bye.